Hello, everyone. We're in the closet. You're in the closet. Heyo. 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 Here she comes. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out. Boy, she'll chew you up. No. See, that's what I'm saying. Here she comes. She's a man eater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is the kind of week I've had. I'm sorry. I'm so glad that it's Friday and this week is over. I had to do double duties at the gym. I had to cover for Chaz because he thought he needed to go to the beach. Good for him. Right? So I had to do his job and my job all at the same time. And I am glad that's over. Did you succeed? I did succeed. I it confirmed that I am actually an amazing multitasker. I pulled it off. There was one point. There was one point in one of the evenings when the gym was busy that I was literally running the timer for one of my clients, having someone sign up for a membership, and unclogging the vending machine. Simultaneously. I was the vending machine unclogging it and being like, stop, go, stop, and then explaining to him how to fill out a membership form. The same guy that was clogged and that was stuck no, in the vending machine? three different people, man. Three, di- three different people. Three, di- three different people. So, it's crazy. Hmm. And I've learned that people are... Listen, if Doug had me be the manager of the gym, I would piss a lot of people off. It might not be a good idea. Because y'all think I'm all nice. Well, actually, our podcast listeners probably do not think I'm nice. But in real probably life... Probably not, no. In real life, I'm really nice. On here, I get a little spicy. But, uh... No, you're nice. I am nice, actually. But I'm fed up. But you don't deal well with people being I don't, stupid. I don't deal well with people being slobs and not picking up after themselves when you're grown adults. When you're a grown ass man Thank or you. woman. Thank you. I really think it was or a man whatever that your was gender is. We're we're open to whatever gender yeah. you are. And I think you should I clean up after yourself. I think I have it narrowed down to who's doing it. I'm still investigating, but there is a paper towel culprit that doesn't know how to throw their paper towels away inside of the trash can. They need to put it on top because the trash cans are those flip ones. Like you push the pedal with your foot and it flips up. It's so convenient. You don't even have to touch the trasher at all. The odds are it's someone with an oversized foot no. that can't get to that thing very easily. Then so you they can just lift it up throw it on hand. top. You can lift it up with your hand. You okay. know, is it? do you think it could be someone that it is a germaphobe and what they do is they open the door with the paper towel and then they toss it over there on top of it no because there's trash cans outside in the gym with an open top if you're that much of a germaphobe you could walk right outside the bathroom door and there's a trash can there with no top on it see the ones in the bathrooms have like lids on them like i said that flip up because you know you don't want to see some product that might be in the trash can like you know feminine products or tobacco spit i got my hand in it this week as well <sighs> It's disgusting. We've already been there. I'm not even going to go there again. Um, but they just throw it right on top. They won't push the thing open and put the put the paper towel in there. There was even a pile of paper towels on the back of the toilet. Now, why? Could you please tell me? What are they doing? It wasn't even just once. It's like every single day, and it's always in the morning, and I've got it narrowed down to two to three people. Two to three people. Two to three people. And on Thursday, I watched the cameras, and I watched these people go in, and I went in the bathroom right after them, but I didn't find anything. Um, so I don't know. My investigation is still ongoing, and you know, just people in general not picking up after themselves in the gym and leaving, you know, just stupid stuff, whatever, blah, blah. But I would definitely uh, probably not be good at that job, because I'll confront you if I catch you. I'd be like, throw your stuff, I mean, I'd probably, and I probably wouldn't be very nice about it. Therefore, Doug would probably not let, want me to be the manager. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he would. Maybe I would do a freaking awesome job. No, it awesome needs to job. be run. It needs to be run well. That's a good... It's, a, it's not... It, it wouldn't be bad. Right. So, anyway, there was that. And then one day we had to evacuate the premise, the building, the gym, because there was a gas leak. I didn't know that you got automated calls for an evacuation, right? I assumed they sounded an alarm. Who was it from? Was it from the gas company? No. Do they have to notify the other the other uh, people in the area? No, it was it was from I forget how how it came up on the phone, but it was recording, and it was like 
they, they called once and they said, there's an emergency in your area. Please stay tuned to the local news for more detail. I got that call. Then I got another call just like that. Then I got a call that says, there's an emergency in your area. You need to evacuate immediately. Again, evacuate immediately. And I'm like, maybe I should go look outside. Because <laughs> I never found anything on the news, right? So I look outside and there's like fire trucks out on the main road, police cars, ambulance. I'm like, well, crap. And I'm thinking, what? it couldn't be a vehicle accident because why would we need to evacuate, right? So I'm thinking, like, is somebody on the... I don't know what was going on. So then I got that same call. So then I had to get all the people out of the gym, interrupt their workout, explain the situation. They look at me like I'm stupid. I'm like, I'm not joking. I got a call that said we need to evacuate. And by that point, I knew that it was a gas leak. And I said, you can stay here and explode, go out lifting, or you can go somewhere safe so we all left and no nothing exploded nothing exploded everything was fine so you ruined everybody's workout for no reason i didn't the automated system did right so i went to work out at planet fitness and by the time i was done it was over there was that oh and then we had a tornado this week yeah tornado in west by god virginia so here's what here's this here's what i gather from all this Chaz can't leave town Things just go crazy when Chaz yeah, leaves town. Goes nuts. Tornadoes that are unheard of. There's an evacuations. Crazy stuff. It's hot too. It's hot. Two hot our, week. Two of our kids have strep throat in June. And I'm telling yeah. you what, if I get strep throat before we go to the beach, or while I'm there, I'm gonna be really mad. Same. Only good thing about strep though is that you can call the online doctor. And probably they just fix you right up with an antibiotic, and you'll be better in 24 hours, right? Right. Yeah. Right. right. All right. I feel better about that. What else? Sorry, I'm just rambling. Yes, when you I'm are. When I'm tired, I ramble. That's fine. Ramble away. So, anyway. Myself, I got nothing to ramble about. Well. Really. Good for you. I mean, I could. I'm so I'm I'm a little sleepy sleepy head as well. I am. So I'm trying to trying to trying to. Oh my gosh, not you're yawn. yawning. What yeah. is wrong with Woo. you? This is not going to be a good podcast. This is Friday. This is I a Friday at the end of the day. It's eight Dude, eight twenty four. Two hours before you. I was up twenty minutes later than you. Twenty minutes? No, you weren't. I put you was to, I not? Uh, I think I put you to bed last night. Did you? Thank you. Yeah, pretty sure that I did. Thanks. I don't remember that. <gasps> I'm kidding. I'm oh just kidding. Oh, my gosh. I'm totally kidding. What is wrong with you? I totally remember. Thank you, by the way. It was very sweet of you. Okay. Um, what else? I don't know. What's this, what's this stuff you are telling me about earlier? You started to tell me about. What did I tell you is about? It, is it your, your hair place or your nail salon? Where you sent me the picture of like Debbie cakes. Oh, so this like is weird, right? W- different stuff. So okay, this is weird. So most of the it's nail salon, not my hair salon. Um, most of the nail places that I go to, when you walk in, there's like a like a Buddha like statue. Right. Like not a big statue, but just like a little glass sculpture. Right. Yeah, I I've seen. I I've say. seen them. Yeah, Buddha. And normally Fat dude. they either have. Um, normally they either have. Candles lit around, lit around the Buddha, or that makes incense, sense. Or incense, right? Right. Right. Okay? Yeah. One of the two. I go into this nail salon out at Southridge. It was a new one I had gone to. They don't have any of that. They just have it. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh because maybe this is it. Oh yeah, we're not making fun. Laugh. We're not making fun laugh. of it. I it's not just have laughed. Trying it's just to understand. I'm an idiot and I don't get it. They had, I can't. They had numerous little Debbie cakes laid out. Like different types is different what I types, saw. Like, like the like, red velvet and then like the fudge rounds. The fudge rounds, and then yeah. Like the, Debbie um, cakes. The chocolate like, chip with the cream in the middle. Yep, yep. They were out of their packages and like stacked around like. Like looking neat and nice. Yeah, like it was like a, uh, what do you call it? Um, a. Uh, a fortress of goodies? Not for, yeah, well, I mean, I guess, but a. Um, Protecting the what Buddha? I, what's the word I'm thinking of? Not shrine, like a uh, temple. 
like an offering or something. An offering. So they're doing an offering. Do you so think they're offering that's what up. It is? What, why a little? I don't know. It's like I don't. I don't understand it. I didn't Google. Listen, this. maybe I should Google. You it. should Google it. But it, it, if you don't, you don't. This is one thing with me. You don't want to get into because when you get into religions, which there's a lot of them. Oh yeah. But there isn't a religion that isn't there isn't really weird, crazy yeah, but stuff you've got to admit, like nut stuff. But like, you gotta admit that's different. That's different, yes. But they're offering up what they like. Is it is it like they're sacrificing it? Like they were gonna eat it? I don't know. But they brought it and they offered it up, and now there's gonna be like good karma. Or nails, they're going to do nails better, or they're going to get more out of you, money wise, when you come. If, if, and who's giving these treats? Who's bringing them? Or what? Them. If you bring them in, will you get well, better deal? Here's the thing I just learned there are 14 different varieties of little Debbie cakes. Well, now that's including interesting. Including the ever popular Nutty Bar, Wafer Bar, and Swiss Cake Roll. Which is your favorite? What's your favorite, little Debbie? The Swiss Cake Roll is by far my favorite little Debbie. Brings back childhood that, memories. Yes. It's my first love, man. Um there is the zebra Butch House can't eat those. No. There's well yeah you could. That's not a foul well, I don't know. It's shaped uh, like a penis. What about the oatmeal cream pies? I like the oatmeal cream pies. I like the I love the freaking oatmeal cream pies. I love, I love them. You know what you know what and I don't know why this is I'm getting off track. But I don't know why this is. But you know how they have like the regular size and the jumbo size. All oh, the big ones. The big ones are better. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. Without I was gonna say no, they're not. Oh, the big ones. No, are way... they don't have the soft <gasps> middle. They yes, don't have that dark do. soft they middle, have, do they? they, have, they and have, they have more cream in them. Which... Their middle is even more gooey on the big ones. Really? Yes. I don't think you've had one in a while. I haven't had one in a while, but like I remember seven it well. years. I remember it well. I don't think you do. So you have the chocolate cupcakes, which are like the ding dongs. Right. I like those. You have the birthday cake, like the you have the zebra cakes, which is like the with the the, the yellow cake with the white cream and the and the um, those chocolate stripes on top. You have fancy cakes, which I've never had. What chocolate, do the fancy cakes look like? They're all white. It looks like white cake with white icing and the white cream and then all white icing on top. No then thanks. you have those chocolate chip cream ones. I don't. Those like, are good. The devil creams, which is just chocolate cake with white in the middle. Ew, orange cream cake? No. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Swiss cake rolls are good. I'm scrolling through these. Oh, and then you got the brownies. I love when they come out with like the holiday brownies with the with the icing on top. I'm all about that. I'm all about that for sure. Red velvet. Mm-hmm. Jeff's all about him some red velvet. And the nutty yeah, bars. Yeah, but I'm red velvet snob. Honestly, it's got to be right. Okay, top three little Debbie cakes for me in the order. Here they go. Nutty bars. Yeah. Okay, what nutty bars? Probably those brownies with the icing on top, and then Swiss cake rolls. Go. What are yours? Well, first of all, no, I'm growing, taking one out. I'm gonna take the brownies and I'm gonna substitute oatmeal cream pies. Sorry, go ahead. Growing up, we only got the Swiss cake rolls. Yeah. And they were Debbie cakes. That's what I think of. When you say Debbie cakes, I don't know that there's another thing that exists. There are 14 different ones. That's not... The Debbie cake to me is the Swiss cake roll. No. That's my number one. My number two okay. is the oatmeal cream pie. Really? Over red velvet? And then... <gasps> yeah. Sorry. But the red velvet isn't real red velvet. That's true. Just like the oatmeal isn't real oatmeal. And just like the... Chocolate isn't real chocolate. I've got to change up my running. I forgot about the Star Crunch. Star Crunch? Oh my gosh, the Star Crunch. It's like like Rice Krispies with like chocolate and there's like caramel in there. All right, so Nutty Bars, Star Crunch, Oatmeal Cream Pies. Bam, that's my top three. If I still ate sweets, I would go buy them tonight and I would eat one of each. But I don't. That's wonderful to hear. Okay, back on track. I don't know why. Why this were we is. talking about Debbie cakes? Because, I can't remember. Because Buddha. Oh yeah, people giving up stuff to yeah. Buddha. Was it, there candy on there? Did nope. they give like gum? Nope. What about like like? It so it just has to be like Debbie cakes and stuff. I'm telling you, man, those people there are just racking up. It might what's have just been happening. sweets, and those were a sweet. 
Nothing. So Buddha, he does look like he had a sweet tooth. He's chubby, man. Nothing comes up when I Google Buddha Little Debbie Cake Offering. Nothing comes up. Did you put in just Buddha Offering? Maybe maybe they just have created... I, I, I'm, I'm going to go over and ask them. No, because then they might think that you're like being... I'm gen- You know how I am. I'm genuinely interested. You won't be able to understand what they're saying. Just like I was drilling the girl in the back. Oh, at- gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe you should tell me this story. Maybe you should tell me this story. All right. Story. Yeah, that, that, came out, that came out wrong. Whoa. Go I was ahead. in the back of Walmart okay. in the liquor section. Drilling a girl? No, I was asking her questions. That's better. About why the liquor is contained there, but in the Cross Lanes Walmart, oh gosh, you did. There, there, it's just in a regular old aisle where you just grab it, throw it in your cart, and pay for it when you get to the front. But in our Walmart, it's contained in the back where you have to pay for it back there. Yeah, what was her answer? She wouldn't look up. She wouldn't look up at me. What was she did, looking at? She was just looking down at the stuff she's checking out with a grin on her face. Why didn't you confront her and say, look at me, I'm did. talking to you? Well, I didn't say that. I was like, she finally was like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I was like, Does it, am I the first person that's ever asked that question? She's like, yeah. Why didn't you go Larry David on her and be like, can you find out for me? This is customer service. You're supposed to do what the customer wants you to do, and I want you to go find out from the manager why this is. Yeah, I, know, I was at Walmart. Did I say that? Start the conversation? Oh, I don't sure. think it's going to happen. Um, she probably was the manager. I doubt it. Oh. But anyway, I don't know how I got off on that. I just, I guess we just kind of went down a rabbit hole there. Well, I found in booty in booty Buddhism. Sure, Buddhism is what you are. Sim- <laughs> <That's> <laughs> in the probably, gym, that's probably Buddhism. sacrilegious to Buddhists. Um, in booty is is it Buddhism? Buddhism. Buddhism. <laughs> Sorry. Buddhism. <laughs> Buddhism is you in the gym with all the dudes looking at your booty. <laughs> You're crazy. That's not true. But anyway, I did say booty. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. In Buddhism, symbolic offerings are made to the triple gym, giving rise to contemplative gratitude and inspiration. Typical material offerings involve simple objects such as lit candle or oil lamp. Burning incense, flowers, food, fruit, water, or drinks. Food. Food. So I guess they just... Simple gifts. I guess they're just like bringing your food you don't want to eat or you don't want your kids to eat. I don't know. Okay, well, that, well there you go. There's the answer. Anytime something happens like that, I try to figure out why. why I want to get to the root of it. I want to know, is it are, 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 those, are those simple things going to the the needy the less fortunate no they're going they're an offering well does that mean they're going in the trash buddhism Jeff, is they wasteful opened the little debbie cake they're probably not going to give it to people they opened are, it i just said that at the beginning it's i didn't know open. they were outside of the case i just said that i said they're opened and displayed. i wasn't paying attention there we all go. the way there we go i thought the picture you sent there is still in the wrappers nope they were out. Out. All right. I believe you. Let's not get angry. I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because because you know what you know, you know what's crazy? What? Like when I'm thinking about why why they're asking for this because there's usually a reason for everything normally, right? Yeah. Um and with religions like basically you know, building a religion it, the, the, one one of the one of the things is is people that are are if you feed people that are that are hungry or take care of people that are that need mm-hmm. money or need things they will believe in what you believe in most of the time right, right. that's the reason why most religions go to third that's what I this is what I heard I'm not just making this up that, that religions, all religions, go to third world countries because they can build a following for the religion. Because if they just go and they contribute to the community and they give, then the the needy are getting fed and they're getting taken care of. So they're more likely going to believe in what you brought to them. Right. So, I agree with that. Without without questioning. Yeah, because they don't know. They don't know, and and you're bringing stuff. 
and you're bringing stuff, and it's like, well, I'm not going to bite the hand that feeds me, and it's, right. you know. So, anyway. Well, I'm glad we figured that out, because I wasn't sure. So, basically, it's just food. So, it could be Little Debbie Cakes. It could be chips. So, I could just, I could I could stroll by there, bars. like, when I'm down there, and I could just drop off, like, one of those little mini bags of Lay's. That even, and I would even do the barbecue, because you know I like those best. I know, but I don't, I don't think that you would do that, because you're not Buddhist. I'm a little Buddhist. No, you're I Buddhist. like Zen. That doesn't mean you're Buddhist. I like you Zen don't stuff. Worship Buddha. I, I don't know that anybody does. Yes, they do. Do they really worship Buddha, or do they People. embody his example? Mm. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe, I don't know. They must be. I don't know. I'd I don't know how to, the Buddhist. I'd bo- have to talk to a Buddhist. I don't know how don't Buddhism know. works. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. I'm so tired. I don't know. I'm just not sure how <laughs> Buddhism, if, if who they worship and how they worship. Obviously, it's favorable to give little Debbies food. Right, food. So I bring a Subway sub, cold cut, drop they it just, down. They just throw this stuff away. At That's night. what I'm saying. I mean, I guess I don't know. The other nail salon I go to just lights candles or incense, which makes way more sense to me. I've got to go in and ask what's up with the Buddha thing. Okay, next time I go get my nails done, if I go back there, I may not go back there because I'm not They really don't good. have any hesitation to ask you or tell you your freaking feet are ugly. Why are you worried about asking oh about their gosh, beliefs? they never told me my feet were ugly there. Oh, they didn't. <gasps> my bad. You think my feet are ugly. They are ugly. <gasps> okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I'm kidding. You've got wonderful no, feet. No, I don't. They're bad. That's we true. already know. <laughs> you know what? Look. Then it's pay, just your feet. Pay for me to the get a rest, pedicure. Uh, no, your feet. Who cares about feet? I'm not. I don't. I'm not a foot I fetish do. guy. I know, but my feet are disgusting. They're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> he knows they're bad. That's why he's laughing. No, I'm not. I'm not saying they're bad. They're feet. Feet don't do it for me. Feet but are feet, all bad to me. Especially my feet. Feet are all bad to me. Nice. They nice. are. Nice. Um, next time I go get my nails done there, if I do. Like I said, I'm not a fan of this particular nail salon because they always try to talk me into doing things that I don't want to do. Like, she's like, oh, you want gel? Oh, you got a gnat in your cup. Like bad boys? Oh, you got a gnat in your cup. Uh, Alcohol, get them. You want gel? You need gel. Gel lasts long. Gel lasts long time. I'm like, I don't want gel. I just want this. That's what I say. Nah. You want Jeff? You want Jeff? <laughs> Jeff lasts long time. Jeff lasts long time. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I'm like, no. I just want this nail polish that I brought to you. When when I came in and you say, you pick color, I went and picked a color. And this is the color that I want. You're being a racist right no, now. I'm not. That's... Doing a voice of an Asian person. Oh. And you're holding your eyes when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Just them. kidding, people. And then... I go with my nail, and then I say, I don't want gel. And then she's like, you want dip? You want dip and powder? And I'm like, want no. chips and dip, biatch. I, I don't want my nails dipped in powder. I want the freaking nail polish that I brought to you. And she just looks at me, like, with disgust on her face. She can't believe she can't upsell she's you. She's like, you need wax? You need wax? And I'm like, I don't need wax. I just need my nails done. You need pedicure? I don't need a pedicure. I just want my nails done. They trying to upsell you. And then when I turn them down, she turns to her friend and she's like, and then they start laughing. I don't know what they said. They say, and this stupid bitch don't know what she needs. <laughs> Did you see her feet when she walked in? So that's that particular nail salon, okay? And then... Well, I won't tell that part because that part was true. Anyway, so that's this new one that I went to. I've been to it twice. Three times. I've been to it three times. Two times, I didn't like it. One time, I did. Here, Okay. But I will say this about this nail salon. This nail salon has a nail technician who is the be- most beautiful Asian person I've ever seen in my life. Asians are pretty. I'm not saying that. I want to see this chick. I mean, I think Asians are, are pretty. But this girl, I'm I don't... I'm going to go get a pedicure. here. So maybe we should go up there one day and get my nails done before we go to the beach. I'll go there one more time. And you can go in and you can ask the lady that sits at the front, what's up with the little Debbie Cakes? Where's the pretty Asian? I'm down. Totally. I'll be like, can I have a Debbie Cake and can that pretty Asian do my feet? Okay. You you do that. Pretend like you're not with me when you do that. (laughs) 
<laughs> and we'll be good. There was a dude when I took Kaylee the other day to the, get get her eyebrows did. Different nail salon. Totally different one. Um, the dude that works there. I the, I talked to Ki- the lady Kim. Kim, yeah, Kim. Kim's sweet. Kaylee gave them their only good review. They have. She was looking at their Google reviews. They were all bad. Um, uh uh-uh. uh Yeah, horrible. Like one star, two star. Yeah, bad. But uh, there was a dude like passed out with his feet in the water, you know, in the massage water uh-huh. things, just chilling. Some old dude just chilling. I'm like, man, that looks like that looks like a good idea right there. Yeah, I mean, we could go get. Can get my, let's, get, let's get it done. What, we does get it a feel good? Pedicure. I love my feet touched. Yeah, the pedicures feel great. They feel great, but they always want me to do the deluxe. You don't need deluxe. I love my I, foot touching is awesome for me. Can I just have a side chick that just likes feet? She doesn't want anything above my ankles. Yeah, I mean, I don't like care. she, she can just, she can just rub my feet with lotions and oils. Sure. I, I don't want her to suck on toes or nothing. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it's not weird to some people. Okay. Some people love it, remember, and that's cool. That's the, awesome. Remember the one time that I did your feet? I love when you rub my feet. Did you? Because yes. then you fell on the steps and you. Well, busted your toe open. Yes, that was not good. That stupidity these, on my part. If you do it again for me, I would put it on shoes after. I, I, I did or this indoor sandals. Indoor sandals <laughs> versus outdoor sandals. Are we like my yeah. grandma now that wears indoor shoes and outdoor shoes? No, she literally does that. She'll change her, her shoes feet. Have to never go touched up. the ground. My grandmother's feet have never. Her feet do not touch the freaking ground. ground. I've never seen her. I don't want her... to say never. I'm sure they have, but very, very, very rarely. She gets out of bed and she has indoor shoes waiting right beside her bed, which I think might be Crocs. Or they used to be. She wears them around the house all day. And when she's ready to go out, she puts on her outdoor shoes. We took her to the beach one year and we had to beg her with tears in her eyes to put her feet in the sand. Remember that? Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, where was I going with that? What was I saying before that? Oh, I was selling beauty control products. Oh, that's remember? right. And they had almost this foot, killed me. They had this foot mask or something that, like, it was a foot scrub, and then you put, like, this oil, or you put this stuff on, and your feet, like, are, like, silk. Right? And I did this to Jeff's feet. You were trying to kill me. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. And then he went and walked. Did our steps have carpet? Yeah. They did. Oh yeah, the one at the one at uh in Georgia, in the Havenstone. They Havenstone had carpet. Wall. Yeah, they had carpet. The f- hardwood floor is downstairs, but it, the stairs okay, had well, carpet anyway, going up because I fell down them all the time because of my slick feet. <laughs> yeah. He fell down them because his feet were slick and his toe caught the spindle. My pinky toe ripped and it, it ripped like in the middle, like of the web part, and it tore ripped. it like. I thought my toe was coming off. It was bad. There was blood everywhere. We had to call our neighbor friends that were PAs, and he came up and stitched him right he on the spot. He stitched me up because I would not stop. Ble- he was like, he kitchen. like pulled, he like held my toe back together. Oh, it was so terrible, bad. I man. felt horrible. Is that the only time I've ever like hurt? That's you when my mom was my plug. Your mom was your plug. Yeah, mom. She broke her hip. Remember how she broke her hip oh, falling yeah. off a two story ladder? You got you got some meds. She she was like. <laughs> She's like, when I broke my hip, I had these pills, and I just, that, I, she was like, they did not do, that. they made me sick, so maybe, because I didn't go to the doctor, so she's like, for the pain, why don't you take these, if you, she gave them to me, I was like, this is Oxycontin. You didn't take Oxycontin Yeah, I did. Toe. Yeah, you I did? did. A couple of times. Yeah, that stuff was good. Oh, come on, it wasn't I that I don't get painful. addicted to that. No, but it was nice. It oh, felt good. I was going to say. I had that, I had those, I had those, bo- I didn't, die. I had those bottles for, like, I had that bottle for, like, Ever, because every once in a while, you just pop one. It's not. It's not cool, Jeff. And I don't condone this at all. I don't either. At all, it's not funny. It's not fun. Don't be. <laughs> don't be popping pills. No, it's not good. It's not good. But it's I mean, really I it helped with my toe because my toe I, would hurt. Listen, you are such my a baby. My toe would I hurt, had, and listen. I'd be like, you know what, Advil or oh, Oxy, come and I'd be on. like, Oxy, bro. Let me tell you something. I had knee surgery. I had screws put in both my knees. I was there. I know. They gave me such drug. I refused to take it. I just took the Tylenol 3. And that's knee surgery. It was screwed eight hours of surgery. And you and you cut your toe open a little bit and you need Oxycontin. No, I didn't take it. You're such a wuss. No, I took it because I wanted to try it. Oh, my god! And you know what? 
You shouldn't take it because you got an addictive personality. You'd still be on. That's Oxy why right I now. didn't take it. That's why I didn't take it. We've already we've already established that you're way better than me. I'm not better than you. I have different traits than you. Your my fingernails match your shirt. By the they way, they do. Wow. Anyway, I should paint my nails. No, please don't. Um, what was I saying before that? Golly, my brain. I don't even remember. You're talking about Buddha cakes. No, Which after will be the that. title of this podcast, Buddha, Buddha Cakes. cakes. That, I wouldn't do or that. Or it'll be bo- Buddha, Buddha-licious. Buddhism. <laughs> Buddhism. <laughs> I'm going to start a new religion. Buddhism. Hey, it's already religion. Just go to Instagram. It's oh, all ass. I know. All the time. I know, I it's know. amazing. It's amazing for what you. What do people do without this? I don't know. Do you think that's when people started becoming... Uh, ask people like when social media is that when it kind of evolved or have you always been i don't know man because i, I mean i've when always did this been change I've been, I, I've been a i've been i've been like a woman guy so i'm no i, like I know but don't you don't you think that it's changed from like oh my gosh boobs 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 oh to like, definitely but i think it was what? the 90s was that remember what happened? big butts and i cannot lie oh the song changed it no 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 i'm just saying that that like like when the rappers came in and it started getting they started focusing more on the booty oh. And then it got cooler because then people were dancing and bouncing. And people were like, oh, we don't just have to pay attention to the top shaking. Oh. There's something in the back shaking, too, when these girls dance. Okay. And these other girls, these rap girls, yo MTV raps back in the 90s, these rap girls and the rap videos are bouncing and they're full and they're voluptuous. You know what I'm saying? And not just in, like, big boobs, flat ass, like the 70s. Jeff's suddenly awake. <laughs> <laughs> in the seventies, this is my this is my jam. In the seventies, when it was like Daisy Dukes, where she was like, she had a rack, right? Yeah. But she didn't have a back. Right. So, but she had the Daisy Dukes, and everybody's like, "Oh, Daisy Dukes." Well, that's a joke now because if you wear Daisy Dukes now, you gotta be busting out of them to yeah. get some attention, right? I mean, right. that's just how it works. So, I think the booty just took over in the late nineties when people started <laughs> bumping. You know what I'm saying? When people started bumping, when it, you know what it was? It was Buckin's dad when he started with the going to all these contests when you're bumping your stereo. Well, you know when I got huge, where people were like paying tons of money to get their cars packed with subwoofers and stereos mm-hmm. and like speakers and the sides and like that's when just it like switched. boom, 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 boom. Yeah, because girls start shaking that ass. I'm telling you, in the 90s, they were all started talking about it then. But you got to think back, too, all the way back. What was that song? Big Bottom Girls? Was that Queen? Big Bottom Girls? Fat Bottom Girls. Fat Bottom Girls. That makes that rock and roll go round. Yes, see, so ass has always been in play, baby. Always. It just, it's so much more popular now because it's, it's... It is so much more popular. And you know what? It's I am, visual. I am thankful for the Switch. Thank yeah, goodness. I would say so. Because you're all booty I, all the time. I have nothing going on up top. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. Got plenty up there. Mm-hmm. Got plenty. Mm-hmm. Got plenty. Got more than a handful. Mm-hmm. Nah. You got small hands, though. That's true, I do. But still. <laughs> you know what? I am done with you busting on me. You're hilarious. I'm just playing. You're hilarious. But I do have small hands. But You don't have small hands. I mean, no, you don't have I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't have Trump hands. Like I don't have tiny hands, but I don't have NBA hands either. No. We can size it up. I mean, I can. I mean, we can. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Bring them out. No, not not now. Forget it. You're cut off. <laughs> I know you got like eight handfuls on one ass cheek if you're grabbing your butt you're so wrong it's like huge that's not true no anyway i didn't do my video today i was supposed to do a glute video today and i failed my people oh you did you were banging in the gym too we should have done that. i well there were so many people it was so crowded tonight at planet fitness you know what we should have done i didn't want to break out i want to we should have taken our headphones off on our phone we should have cranked up some booty music right and then you could have just started bouncing and shaking We would have had twerking. a party. We would have had a party. Those people that have their freaking phones playing music in the gym and Annoying. don't have headphones drives and me crazy. It doesn't bother me. Drives me nuts. I'm like, we I got the stereo headphones. overhead going. But maybe they don't like what's on the stereo. So you're blast. You're competing with it? Well, yeah. You're, so you're turning up your, your freaking I, music on your... Ra- that, that nobody around you wants to hear. Then put your headphones in. Put his headphones in. 
Maybe he forgot his. Put her headphones in. Maybe they forgot theirs. It's a free world. They can play whatever I they want. I forget mine. Okay. You don't play music. That's your prerogative. I'm courteous of other people's space. I don't. I mean, it's a public space. If they want to play their music, let them play their music. If you don't like it, go find some headphones. I'm sorry. I don't have a problem with it. You, you, you're part of the problem is what it is. I don't do it. Yeah. I would not do it. If I forgot my headphones, I would not do that. You would not inconvenience people with, with your no, music. No, I just wouldn't turn my... I wouldn't even think to do it. I, it wouldn't be something I thought of. But when I see people doing it, I don't think any any way of them. It's, it's better than freaking... Dude, in the gym the other day, lifting, making noises. Like, there was a porno going on in the gym. I am not even kidding. I was sitting in the office. But there wasn't. There wasn't. There was two guys out there working out together and it was like they were trying to compete with each other with the noises and it sounded a certain type of way and i was like do i want to go out there i know who it is so i don't want to go out there (laughs) why i mean like it's like what do you hear yourself do you hear yourself Er, 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 er. that's what he sounds like Er, er. (laughs) 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 it's like er. it's weird like i understand a grunt every once in a while but this guy makes the weirdest noise. You know who I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice guy. Nice guy. But you know, like the podcast a few ago that you said when people work out, they they work out how they are in bed. If we were in bed and you were going, er, 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 I would, I would be done. There's nothing left. I'm, I'm good. I'd fake good. it. I'd fake the big O and I'd be like, oh, my God. And we'd be done. <laughs> Because <laughs> I can't do that. But then here's the thing. If I did that, if I faked it, when you were going, er, 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 you would think that did it for me. And you would do it all Forever. The time. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, that would not be good. You just have to be like, well, we got to have a talk. I would just have to blow the whistle and be like, time out. Time out on the field. That noise you're making, you got to stop. <laughs> yeah. Can you stop <laughs> You got to <that>? stop. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, our personality, I would just start laughing. I would just start laughing and. <laughs> It'd be so bad. But anyway, I, I don't do noise as much in bed. I mean, you know, here and there, of course, are talking some noises that are that make sense to make in bed. I think the thing is, is the noises you make in bed need to be genuine and well, unconscious. Yeah. Unconscious. Well, sure. That, but you can tell that when you're hearing it. You can yeah. tell that well, it's Well, and natural... you almost don't notice if you're both into well, yeah, it, it's right? Like a but natural I mean, people get, thing, but... people want to oh, cool. overdo it. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Be like... Yeah. Oh, daddy. Oh, stop. Stop. Please stop. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ever again. No, it needs to be genuine. Yeah. In bed. Yeah. It needs to be which, uh, 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 yeah, that could be, right. that er, could be, er, 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 er. Er. <laughs> that could be genuine. It just could be, just be the way he does. It could be his thing and I get it and it's fine, but everybody around us laughs, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's all I got. Well, we're done. Whew. It's this been a rough podcast week. is over, yo. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>